Hello, everybody. Today the story is 掩耳盗铃 It means covering your ears while you try to steal a giant bell. So a thief saw this giant bell outside of somebody's house and thought, "Oh, this is worth a lot of money. I've got to try to steal it." So he tries to carry it. It's too heavy and too big. So he kept thinking, pacing back and forth, trying to figure out what to do. Aha! Yes, I can get a hammer. Break the bell into pieces. Then I just take the pieces. Then those pieces were still equal to money. Oh yeah, I am so smart. I figured it out. So he went and got a hammer, and just to try it out, he tapped on the bell lightly, and he made this huge noise. He's like, "Oh no! Everybody's gonna hear me trying to steal this bell. I gotta do something about it. What am I gonna do? Huh? This is gonna make such a huge noise. I'm so worried. Wait." Let me think. Let me think. There's got to be a way. Oh man! So he circled around over and over, trying to come up with a solution. And he was thinking, "There's got to be a way. I don't want to leave." Oh yes, I got it. Now the ears are the organs that hear the sound. So what if I was to cover my ears up with an earplug? Oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. So he got some earplugs and plugged up his ears, so he wouldn't hear the bell ring. So then he tried the hardest with the hardest blow he could make. Bam! He made this huge ringing noise out of the bell, and it rang all the way into the house where the owners of the bell live. And they came out and caught him right in the middle of the act. And they tied him up and said, "Hey, how dare you try to steal the bell from us? This is terrible of you!" And then the thief was feeling so sorry for himself, and he tried to defend himself to say, "Hey, listen! I thought if I was to cover up my ears, then the bell wouldn't make a noise anymore because I couldn't hear it." Oh man, that is so silly! So even the owners of the bell couldn't stay mad anymore. They started laughing. See, long time ago. The giant bell in Chinese culture was considered to be an instrument, and this actually means sometimes we think we can cover up when we do something bad, but the truth is you can never cover anything. So, kids, that is the moral of the story. Yang or Dao Ling, be honest and own up to what we do. See you next time.